You guys will soon find out that some venues will ask you for your insurance. As a business, 360 booth business, you should have insurance. I use Thimble. Let me go ahead and share my insurance with you right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and jump in. And I'm going to go to my manage my policy right here. And so what do you do? I'm a photo booth operator, my crew, it's me plus an assistant. You can always adjust this to you and another two, three employees. That just depends on how big your current 360 booth business is. Now, right over here is my policy period with how much I'm paying on a monthly basis. I reside here in California. I'm paying $53.13. For general liability, we have one million, and then for customer property protection, it's at five thousand. Now, for business equipment protection, it's currently at two thousand five hundred, meaning it'll cover that much if one of my booths get damaged or something occurs, right? But because I recently bought two more booths and I also bought another two cold sparkler machines, I want to end up increasing the coverage from two thousand five hundred to five thousand. And let's see how much more I would be have to I would have to pay. So, it says here. Have you sustained a claim, loss, or accident? Or do you have knowledge or reason to anticipate a claim or loss? The answer is no. And so it says, is any individual piece of equipment worth more than $2,500? As an individual piece, no. The answer is no. So as you guys can see, I have the information right here. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that iPhones, cell phones are not covered by the insurance. Just to give you guys a heads up. So I'm going to go ahead and renting or leasing equipment. Nope, I'm not renting or leasing equipment. <clears throat> so if I increase my business equipment protection to 5000 from 2500 I'm going to be paying an extra $14.72 a month, which would bring my total cost to... <clears throat> Let me grab a calculator here, guys. I'm not fast at math. So 14.72 plus the current amount that I'm paying, which is $53.13. So I would be paying $67.85. That's actually way cheaper than touch picks. <laughs> so that's how much I would be paying if I want to maximize this to $5,000 for my business equipment protection. Now, out of curiosity, let's hop on over to general liability. And I can actually go from 1 million to 2 million. Now, I did have a situation where I was at the Marriott and they needed a 2 million general liability and I only had a 1 million liability. Um, but I'm curious just to see if I do switch to here, how much more I would be paying. Let's check that out. So the answer is no here. Save. Wow. <clears throat> so there's really no change on how much more. I would be paying if I switched it to 2 million, which is interesting. So that's really, really cool. I'm going to pay now. <clears throat> so now I got a 2 million general liability. $53.13 is what I'm going to be paying monthly, guys. And here's the equipment that I've added right over here. This is Thimble Insurance. I recommend you guys get insurance for your 360 booth business. You guys really have to do this in a professional manner. If you guys are just going out there with no insurance, accidents always happen, guys. There's been situations where people have jumped off the booth sooner than they were supposed to. And, you know, I was able to catch the arm on time. And there's just so many different situations because sometimes you're at parties and you're dealing with people that are drunk. So you never know what's going to happen. Get insurance for your business, guys. I'm going to go ahead and leave the Thimble link in the description box below so that you guys can get a quote. I know that if you guys live in a different state, you guys might, might be actually paying less than I am. I'm currently paying $53.13. I hope this helps, guys. Get your insurance for bigger venues. See you guys. Peace.